We are presently here at the Old Mission Brewery Women's Shelter, and I'm here with the artist, Ariana Garcia Filadini. How are you today? Very well, thank you, Malik. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. And your work is very interesting because it supports women's rights, right? That's right. So talk to us about that inspiration. What, what made you focus your artwork on that? Uh, well, I've always been interested in the idea of art as a tool for social awareness. So uh, in the last two years, I just finished my master's degree in which I use muralism as a tool for social activism and I concentrate mainly on the idea of women's rights, which I think is still a growing concern for most women in today's world. Talk to us about femicide. Uh, the idea of femicide is known as a term that represents the homicide of women um, and it all originated from my or origin of country, Mexico. Uh, in the northern part of Mexico there's a humongous problem with women being killed it, by groups and so that's where the thesis originated from and the term is known as femicide. Every time you see a pink cross in a field it represents a woman who was killed. And the colors you use is mostly black and pink. Why is that? That's right. Because of the connotation of pink being associated with the feminine gender uh, and black being such a powerful opposite contrast to pink, I found black is usually associated as well with death in paintings. So I tried to make use of both of those colors, the absence of color and pink, for it to stand out and make a real commentary towards the situation. And when you get your ideas, how does it come on paper? How do you translate your ideas to paper? Well, my biggest motivation is to stay updated on the relevant situations, not only for Mexico, because femicide is a universal concern and problem. And so I keep up to date with my readings. Um, the news, it's everywhere really right now in India. It happens all over the world. And of course, I come from Mexico, so that's the one I channel through. But my goal is to talk about it in a more general sense but that's my main motivation is to visualize what's on the news and put it on on a wall or on a canvas and why focus your energies on murals because of the huge tradition of muralism that comes from mexico back from the 1920s to the 1970s uh, there were three very big and very important muralists mainly men known as Orozco, Rivera, and Siqueiros. And um, muralism is still very present in my heritage, and therefore I thought I would, we would like to contribute to that. And it's always for the people about social commentary, social political commentaries, therefore it seemed like the right way to go. We are still at the Old Brewery Mission, Patricia McKenzie Pavilion, which is the biggest women's shelter here in Canada. And you have a couple of murals here. And I want to know, how did you get the idea to put your murals here? Well, initially, I was contacted by the director here called uh, Florence Bort. And um, she heard about the fact that I do socially engaged art on walls through Concordia University. And she contacted me directly and asked me to come in. and I offered to volunteer. The ideas are solely the women's that live here in the residence and they first asked for a mural that would express communication and taking that first very hard step towards reaching out and asking for help. So we created through their own design, me mainly as a tool to make it visually happen, a phone booth which is at the corner and after that since she was happy with my work um, and the women were as well most importantly they decided to recreate the idea of a homely neighborhood which is something that these women don't necessarily have either a home or are part of a community unless they're here and we recreated the cityscape of both Montreal and ideal homes that they would like to be a part of so and once again, I was just the visual tool to help make that happen, but it's purely their, their inspiration. So. And what, what are the types of conversations that you have with the women here? Well, it was a lot of, it was very uh, humbling experience. Um, it definitely puts a lot of things into context about one's own life and how much we can take for granted. Uh, working here in the residency for about two, three weeks, the women interact with you, they're very, very humble, they're very, very warm and open and 
everybody has problems and on a very human level you realize that we're not all that different at all and uh, the conversations went along the ideas of how do you paint this, um, how do you make your lines so straight and I try to get them to interact a little bit with it as well but a lot of the time they were very shy and hopefully the next project which is coming up I'll be able to get them more hands-on involved to paint with me which is a dream so good for you thank you <laughs> and how long, how long did it take you to paint all this it took about a week and a half and the phone booth took about three days Hello, congrats. Thank you. congrats on all your work thank you good job much. good job we're proud of you thank how are you uh, let people know your uh, website address uh, please follow me either on Twitter through Ariana Garfi or www.garfiart.com and uh, I have a blog so any comments or feedback would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Good luck with your stuff, eh? Good job again.